Il il programma è l'OM, da kien aggiornament dwar il-servizzi finanziari. U intervista ma Dr. Joseph Borg, jek għandkom xie kommenti ibatu għom per mezz tant WhatsApp fuq il-numru leader fuq l-screen. Jina leja hoga l-Net TV. U wissa sanatu ħarsa li jinnanalizi geopolitika ta' Renju Niet, ma l-professur Colin Lawrence. Rishi Sunak is. He's much better at uh, communication. He's much better at a deep understanding of the economy. And um, it's proven such as um, despite those hikes in interest rates, the long-term yield um, has fallen back somewhat, although it still stays um, stubbornly um, high. Um, so mortgage rates are going to be 4%, 4.5% depending on um, loan to mortgage. Um, and um, the economy is not in good stead at the moment. We've got an unemployment rate of 6.5%. There's no economic growth. It's, it was somewhat negative um, in numbers. Um, and you've got to look at this as both a short-term issue and a longer term one. Um, actually, I think the foundation is around Brexit because what Brexit did, it cut off a lot of our trade. Trade has fallen by 16% um, to Europe, but not replaced by other trade, which takes a very, very long time um, to implement, probably over a period maybe of five to 10 years to restructure the entire supply chain um, of trade. So um, we're feeling it um, in, in the UK. Um, and then of course, um, the UK has taken an active role um, in the war in Russia, supplying weapons um, to the Ukrainians um, and um, basically outspoken on foreign policy. Um, so that could be a good thing. But at the moment, um, what Ricky Sunni has done to assure the markets and prevented the rapid deterioration um, in bond prices is that the budget will be balanced. So um, at the autumn statement, uh, which is now postponed to, um, until November, we're likely to see a balanced budget. Um, much of the burden to fund 50 billion pounds um, of deficit spending um, is going to have to come in the form of tax hikes or in reduction in public spending. So that's going to be more painful and have a further impact um, on the recession. However, it will stabilize interest rates. So from that perspective, we won't see rapidly rising rates. And I think today with the um, 75 basis point hike in the base rate, um, that's quite reassuring um, for inflation vigilantes. So um, the, the, the governor of um, the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, has um, really um, shot an arrow at Trussonomics. Trussonomics was a failure from inception, and that's why Ricky Sunish is there. The government, though talking the right thing, Bravman is actually um, had created havoc when she said we're being invaded 
by, by um, refugees. So um, this hasn't gone down well. Um, it is the topic um, of conversation in question time in Parliament. His Home Secretary says the asylum system is broken. Who broke it? Yeah. <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> well, Mr Speaker, let's, let's just... We, we can look at the record on migration yeah. policy. Let's look at it. What did... What did... What, what did we on this side of the House do? We gave the British people a referendum on Brexit. Yes. We, we, delivered, we delivered Brexit. We ended the free movement of people, Mr Speaker. That's our record on migration policy. Um, and this is the second sort of thing where Braverman um, has become almost more important in terms of focus um, than um, Rishi Sunak. The Manston plant, where these refugees are housed, is in dire chronic conditions. And um, despite Sunak saying what we'd like to do is to house them in hotels, and Braverman's predecessor in, in um, Homeland um, Division, so Department, um, has done exactly the opposite. They've not been. She cut off all the possibilities and plans. In fact, planning is non-existent. I mean, if you've got to tackle this crisis, it's clearly got to be done on an international basis. Despite Brexit, the United Kingdom has to negotiate with the French and they've got to see how to troubleshoot this. Um, but actually, um, Britain take about only one third of, of the supply of refugees coming from all over the world. But of course, this was a key point of Brexit and um, the, the government are also making a big mess um, of what they've done. They've never made contingent plans. How do you deal with migrants? How do you deal with refugees? How do you negotiate? How do you set up the supply chain and so on and so forth? How do you move them on? Um, in fact, of, of out of all of those that are here, there was something like 122,000 in the country. Um, they only processed about 4%.